Amid reports of an emerging interim Iran deal, the U.S. is giving Israel new security guarantees. According to Israeli media reports, Washington will make certain that Israel maintains a qualitative military edge to have a free hand to act against regional adversaries. The new measures were discussed between U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and Defense Minister Yoav Gallant in a meeting in Brussels. Austin reportedly made clear to Gallant that even if the U.S. and Israel are closely cooperating on the Iran issue, Israel will maintain a free hand to act against its adversaries. The man who carried out the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history has been convicted of federal offenses and may face the death sentence. The jury found Robert Bowers, age 50, guilty of dozens of federal hate crimes and civil rights offenses during the October 2018 mass murder of 11 worshippers at the Pittsburgh Tree of Life Synagogue. Irish airline Ryanair has apologized to the Israeli ambassador to Ireland after a junior crew member made an in-flight announcement calling Israel Palestine while flying to Tel Aviv. During descent to Ben Gurion Airport on a flight between Bologna and Tel Aviv, a crew member announced that they were about to land in Palestine multiple times in Italian and English. Ryanair claimed that the announcement was an innocent mistake with no intent and was immediately corrected and apologized for by the senior crew member on board. So we know the news is volatile and fast-paced and we want to let you know that RTV's new app is now available. So if you want to stay connected to the latest news from Israel, the Middle East and the Jewish world, download our app now on all your devices. It's available in the App Store for both Android and iPhone.